and welcome to Sunshine Focus, a program designed by the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure in Undo State to highlight several achievements of the state governor, Arakuni Oluwarotimi Akeridolu, S.A.N. I am Debbie Fumilayo. Right after this short break, we will present to you a story on how Governor Akeridolu has been able to put smiles on the faces of the people of Ikarea Koko for reconstructing a mountain called Road, which has brought sorrow, tears and blood to the inhabitants of the area, the drivers and travelers that utilize the ever busy road. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for staying with us. You are still watching Sunshine Focus. The people of Ikarea Koko in the Northern Senatorial District of the Sunshine State are amongst other several communities who are still basking in the euphoria of the Arakonri infrastructure revolution in the state. The governor has brought down a once hilly and strategic road in the town called Okeala Bojuto. Several lives and properties have been lost owing to frequent accidents that occurred. Because of the topography of the ever busy road, as drivers lose control while descending or ascending the ever dreaded road. The new road, a dual carriageway which is almost completed, will be ready before the second year anniversary of Arakonri Oluwarotimi Akiridulu SAN in office. Enjoy the package. One of the sterling achievements of the Arakuni Oluwarotimi Akeredolu administration in Ondo State in the last 24 months is massive infrastructure development. Like no other administration before it, the government has kept to its promises by making both the people's welfare and infrastructure development of the state its top priority. From the north, the central, to the southern senatorial district, it's a total infrastructural revolution. Arakuri has left indelible impression on the people of the Sunshine State as they have started enjoying some of the landmark road projects his administration has put in place while a few others are in the final stages and to be completed before the second year anniversary. The people of Ikarea Koko in the Northern Senatorial District will not forget one of such projects in a hurry. It's the reconstruction of the once hilly road in the heart of the town called Okeala Bojuto. The topography of the ever busy road made it a very dangerous task for drivers of vehicles to negotiate. It was always tales of reoccurring disasters such as these. Many lives and property have been lost as driver lose control while descending or ascending the ever dreaded road. My brother was killed here. Monday, Mogaji. That ma get married to my sister. Opposite ovation shop. That thing is affecting my life. This tree, this tree that you have seen here, it was the way my brother was killed. My brother's, my sister's one was killed. 
when he was going to Yoga to go and collect money. You see, this road is not like this before, but I'm happy today. I am very, very happy for the government of Akiti. Then the Akere Dolu government came to the rescue. Arakunri swore to see the end of the mountain. When he started the work, the overburden, that is, the health, the, the, the designer believed that should be on the rock, was a very large volume, thereby allowing for a smaller portion of the rock to be blasted. But when the contractor started, we discovered we have little overburden on it, and from top to the final level now, they are all rock. They are all rock. And Bear it in mind, adjoining buildings are within the, the corners of the, of the site. So they have to employ modern technology in blasting the rock in such a way that much damage will not be, will not be melted on the adjoining properties. So those are the challenges. But thank God the contractor has achieved 90% completion now. And everybody is just singing praises of the government. So I believe with God, and with the commitment of Mr. Governor and with the love he has for the citizens of the state, that's why we achieved what we've seen on that, on that site. Mo <laughs> Look at 
But then, ni by no, I want your belief back to look at the one by what is in the bottom of the one we buy. So I believe when I don't need any con, I shall kill you. It's time to buy no. If I even do, don't want to pay too little more energy, it will go get a bit more happy go because it will be too little about why it may be if I learn everything. Oh, my work there or I get a other two little goes in there. brought the mountain down, attacks so many will still never believe happened in their lifetime. I like to you. Come on, come on, to the Okay, <laughs> I want to show you that we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be so <laughs> I'm mean, living with this two years ago when another thing happened here. In fact, I was crying. But thank God for, in fact, looking at the situation of things now, I am saying without missing words that we are safe. We are safe now in Ikare. Then a lot of life have lost here. But today now, we are, we, in fact, looking at what is on ground, we believe that 
the government of today has saved a lot of souls now. At the same time, even uh, two years ago when it hasn't happened here, everybody was like shouting. Then this place, would, it, it, was, it was land in the ancient day that uh, this place cannot be bringing down to this level. And people were like afraid of that. But if government can come to this, to this, uh, to the, uh, to the rescue, we, we are, we are seriously surprised, and we pray that the Lord will bless the government. They all will increase them in every angle. So we really appreciate government. We really appreciate our governor. You tell your words to tell a kiss or not to da. Tell a motto man, ja, a jato by the back, power, your letter. I want my power, you know, jam, or to a mosque, and I laugh for you so I need baby, you man, jump by me, I just on you. Or drop my pocket, it just on your power to annulate, or will you live on your little power? Mo is one in nineteen eighty-four at but one rice so or a stabai so but TB so so Okala Bujito, uh, when I see Okala Bujito, I'm so enlightened because uh, this Okala Bujito has taken a lot of life and property. Eh? In short, when I saw people coming and the government decided to do this Okala Bujito, I was so enlightened. And uh, since uh, the repair and even it's now motorable, it's now motorable. In the first place, in those days, the hill, the hill, the hill was a very high hill. And most of the accidents did occur there. And a lot of lives have been lost. But later, when we have uh, the new governor, the present governor came in, uh, he started uh, he helping us to reduce the, the level of the mountain, I mean, the, the level of the, uh, of the road, down to a very, uh, Peaceful, better place to reduce the level of accident, the rate of accident. Uh, since he started the, the job, in fact, in reality, the question of accident has come, has been reduced to the BRS level. So we feel very happy and very proud of him. And um, I think almost every day we talk about it. 
more question the driver losing his senses in the question of driving the vehicle. The accident has been reduced to the barest level. So no more accident and it appears you can if you see the growth the market is now growing higher than what we what was obtainable before. From the accommodation, from the different letters we'll be receiving from the KBACs, from the citizens, from people, and when we have phoning program from the filler we are getting is that people appreciate what the government is doing. Most importantly, there's, there's everybody new, there's positive fund, but we try as much as possible to manage the meager resources we have. We change our policies by not paying mobilization, paying as you go. So we are upon achieving some milestone. Your money will be paid. So with that, and we try as much as possible to block some uh, preference. Loopholes were blocked. So with that, with the commitment and the passion and the integrity of Mr. Governor, because all the contractors believe in integrity. Otherwise, because no agreement and deception, we won't send an agreement. Because if we couldn't perform, we will be driven away. So, but, for, but now we have so many people that are on the queue now that I'm eager to work for you. I'm eager to work with you. But uh, we don't want to bite. More than what we can show, but thank God the feeling we'll be getting is that the citizens, the electorates, they are happy with what the government is doing. In few days, the road would have been tarred and ready for the second anniversary of Arakunri Uluarotimi Akeredolu SAN in office by 24th of February. Landmark road projects such as these are evidential testimonies of Governor Akeredolu's determination to implement all his campaign promises by executing projects that touch the lives of Undo state people. Omoshi Leola Adesoye Ajayi for Sunshine Focus. Welcome back. That's all we can take on this edition of Sunshine Focus. I am Debbie Fumilayo. See you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.